It was right here. Students say they watched a man doing donuts exit his vehicle with a shotgun. Students walking near the student union say they watched a man drive up onto the lawn and proceed to do donuts. That's when they say he got out of his truck carrying a shotgun. 911, where's your emergency? Oh, nothing. I'm sitting up here at ASU with a can of gas, a 100-pound propane tank, and a shotgun. I uh, don't plan on using it. I anybody don't want no innocence, but I'm just tired of uh, the hell I've been through for three years, so you might want to send somebody up here. That's when he headed towards the student union, where he bumped into a student saying, y'all need to get out of here. This is a personal thing. I don't want any innocent lives harmed. 47-year-old Bradley Kenneth Bartelt then walked back to his truck, where police chief Rick Elliott said he then began to pour gasoline on his truck. And at one point when I arrived on the scene, uh, the suspect uh, was sloshing gas on, the, on his truck. Around 1.30 in the afternoon on Thursday, University Police Department received calls from students saying that there was a man on campus with a gun. They arrived along with every law enforcement officer in the area to find Bartelt along with a can of propane, gasoline, and a shotgun. A little over an hour later, at around 2.45, Bartelt, after not firing a single shot, laid his shotgun on the ground and surrendered to police. Chancellor Tim Hudson said that he is grateful for the courage of the combined efforts of the law enforcement. And the Arkansas State community remains strong. And we're safe, thanks in large part to the quick action and cooperation of our law enforcement officers and safety personnel from the campus, the city, the region, and the state. Chancellor Hudson later released a statement saying, Yesterday we were, today and tomorrow we will be, Red Wolf Strong. Together we rise, together we thrive. For ASU TV News, I'm Austin Hyslip.